What's going on guys? Uh, this is going to be a quick video on how to install my item manager mod template the new way, which is uh, making a local version of the template for yourself uh, and being able to edit that or keeping it exactly how I have it in my current structure and of course um, getting that going for yourself. So we're going to open up Visual Studio. I'll show you first in Visual Studio, and then I'll show you in Writer exactly how to set this up. So Visual Studio, we can clone a repository. That's what we're going to want to do. You're going to want to go to My Template. So as Matt Dev, Item Manager Mod Template in this case. I'll be updating the other templates to also work the exact same way. So click on Code, copy the link, minimize. We're going to go to Clone a Repository. Control V in here, we'll have this. You can go ahead and click clone. And then once this completes, we're going to open up this solution. And we have a template. So this is going to create a local template on our system that we can modify as, as needed. You can change these files, you can swap them out if I happen to be uh, not as quick to update this. But we are going to go to Tools, we are going to go down to Command Line, and Developer Command Prompt. If you have .NET on your machine, obviously, because you have Visual Studio, you should. We're going to do .NET, New, Install, in a period saying that we want to install this folder as a template. So now we have a template called Item Manager Mod Template. Short name is IMMT. All that means is you can now do .NET new IMMT on your command line. I do have an author um, parameter, so you would have to do a dash A for that, but you would do dash O, my name for my project, which is cool, and then we'll do a dash A, and then we'll do, you know, Azimat or whatever you want to do. I had spelled my old name wrong there. But that will install a brand new template for you using this, now that this is installed on your machine. So you can close this out. We're actually done. All you have to do now, since this is installed, is anytime you click New Project, you're actually going to be able to choose an Item Manager Mod template from me. Or you can do Mod, right, mod Template or Mod in general. And mine should be the first one that shows up now. So we're going to click on this. We're going to call it test mod template uh, template project, right? So we'll just call it proj. And we'll create the solution. I want the solution in the same directory. Click next. And that dash A parameter that we would be doing on the command line, we can do it here. The default is me, of course. Um, you can specify this however you want. This is the author of the mod. So this will be how it shows when someone hovers the DLL and also uh, the author parameter in general. So we'll just call it test mod maker, right? And we'll click create. And you'll notice that we have a whole brand new uh, project on the right hand side, same files, same structure. And we can open up the plugin. We can see that it's called test mod template proj. There's going to be a lot of red. Don't be concerned about that for the second. So test mod template proj here and test mod maker is the author. Uh, so the author will actually be um, in the properties file. So in the assemblies info, we have this testing out as the author and the mod name, of course. So the references are all broken or seemingly broken. Um, on my machine, I have this looking at the default Valheim install uh, under the managed folder and a few other things. I'll show you that here in a second. But for me, since if you have the, yours set up the exact same way, it'll work the same way for you as well. All you have to do is build the solution. So this will actually fix all of the references and see everything's all nice and happy. So what I'm going to do is figure out where this reference is, right? For me, this is in a Valheim folder. So I have a Valheim clean to and then a Valheim folder. So this is my default game install. Uh, I do have a Valheim data managed publicized assemblies. Make sure that you're publicizing your assemblies. 
and then I have all of my publicized assemblies here. These are the assemblies that I do reference, as well as jumping out to the unstripped core lib, grabbing Unity Engine, Core, Asset Bundle, or any of these other Unity Engine files that I need. And then of course, BepinX is also installed here. Make sure this is the latest BepinX version. You can go into Core, and I would grab BepinX and Zero Harmony, or Mono, whichever your choice is. So with this already set up, I've got a file watcher. I've got my config saves anytime the mod is unloaded. And it guarantees that I have the configuration options. It's already set up with server sync. It's already set up with a file watcher so your uh, stuff can be changed live. And this particular template, of course, is already set up with the item manager. I have it set up as a .cs. So you can change this, copy paste this. You can do whatever you want. If you choose to use the DLL version, all you have to do is go into libs. And if we actually open this in File Explorer, you'll see that the DLL exists, right? So we can include this in our project, reference it in our project, and then go to ilrepack.targets, and then just uncomment this line. So all you have to do is that if you don't want to use the class. Okay, so it's either or. Make sure that you're doing either or on that. But we have a fully working item manager project template in about five minutes. And you can do this both on the command line or any, um, any amount of times as you want. And I will be updating the project template for you. So again, just all you have to do is pull from the git or reclone that repository anytime that you want that set up correctly. And let's show you in Writer. So Writer is basically the same. You don't have to do anything extra special or anything like that. So I'm going to jump into Rider here, and you can see that my mod template is now gone. I did make sure that I deleted it, so I can just re-grab it. So we're going to go to my mod template. I am going to copy that same link, okay, that same link, right? Nothing different. Get from version control, paste, clone. And once this loads up, same thing. You can choose to keep the README, keep the license, um, really any, anything that you want to keep, keep it. Writer is a little bit better in the fact that it does try to search for these dependencies and it does try to, try to find them. It does not instantly break your project, uh, like Visual Studio assumes. So this one will automatically reference. No red, no craziness. We're A-OK. -okay. So... Make sure that if you're going into file and new and you need to go to new templates, I already have it here and mine will be shown at the bottom. But if it does not show here, run that same command via the command line. So .NET new dash dash install. OK, and then the period in order to get this template. But you can do that from up here. Or you can go down here to the terminal and, of course, install it straight from this template. So we're going to do dot net new dash dash in, install, right? And then a period, okay? Same thing as last time. Uh, if you don't already have the template in Rider, you can run this again, clone it again, because Rider does put this in Rider projects and Visual Studio does put it in source slash repos. So... Just make sure that, you know, you have this set up however you need and you have the template in here and then you can run it. Everything should automatically resolve for you and you can start filling it out. Changing, of course, you know, if you don't have an Iron Fang Axe, you want to change this. An asset bundle file name, the prefab name, and of course the folder name. So however you want to set this up, make sure you read the readme. The readme is exactly from the GitHub, so... Read this, figure out how to set up your project, and of course, same thing, just like we did in Rider, you can go into the IL Repack targets, choose to use the DLL, and make sure that you just bring in the DLL via the libs, and then just delete the CS file. All right, that's uh, Azimat out, and you can install all the other templates the exact same way. Thank you.